here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I focus on father's rights. This is another video about parenting coordinators, and today I'm talking about how or when you can remove a parenting coordinator that has been appointed in your case. This could be for many reasons, one being that you feel that the parenting coordinator is simply biased against you or has somehow formulated a, a favoritism towards the other party, or you just feel like you can't communicate with the parenting coordinator. Uh, maybe the other party can, but you, you can't. Or maybe you think the parenting coordinator is just uh, not gelling with either party and just not being effective. So either party can do a motion to remove the parenting coordinator for whatever reason they wanna list and argue is a good cause for the court to remove the parenting coordinator. And so that would have to go to a hearing if the other party objects and the court would have to find that you have indeed shown that there is a good cause. This can be kind of difficult to prove because if you're trying to prove bias, sometimes these are just subtle uh, things that are noticed by you. You may have to show a pattern of decisions or gui guidance or recommendations that the parenting coordinator has made that kind of clearly show their bias. Sometimes it's very difficult to show that. Um, so you may be uh, better off going with the reason of you're just not able to communicate well with this parenting coordinator and you just feel like it's ineffective and it's not working for you. Um, if both parties feel that way, it's pretty easy to get the parenting coordinator um, removed upon agreement by both parties. Now, last video we talked about the length of time a parenting coordinator is appointed for. And as we said, sometimes it's, it's maybe a year, uh, it can be a, two years, three years. But upon the expiration of that, if the parenting coordinator is not automatically re-upped per the orders, then the parenting coordinator's appointment simply expires. So you just literally, you know, completed the contract term of the appointment term and it expires on its own. Now, um, any other issues that you have with the parenting coordinator, you really need to address with the parenting coordinator before you bring these motions. You know, you, you need to show the court that you've asked the parenting coordinator or, or address that, hey, I, I feel like you're biased. I feel like we're not communicating. I feel like we need a different parenting coordinator. Sometimes the parenting co coordinator will say, yeah, you know what, I agree. This, this isn't something about this case or, or the parties isn't allowing me to be effective. And they may simply agree. Finding another parenting coordinator to replace, well, uh, you're kind of back in the same boat of just trying someone. You're not going to know if it's going to work out. You just have to try another one and see. I hope this helps and answers some questions. We're going to go on with some videos with about the parenting coordinator after this and dive in even a little deeper. Thanks.